G'day guys, welcome to another video from Parts Factory Australia. Today we're going to be installing a Holden Cruise overflow bottle. It's quite a very, very easy fit. Very, very minimal tools actually required for this fit. Holden Cruise tends to have problems with its overflow bottle due to a very, very fragile design. Now, they are different to a general overflow bottle design, whereas they actually have a flow that travels through them instead of acting simply as somewhere for excess build-up of pressure to go, they actually take a constant flow. Hence why they see premature failure even after three or four years of operation. Now, the part we have here today is available on partsfactoryaustralia.com. That is spelt Parts Factory Oz without the trailer. Now, today, guys, all we actually need is a set of pliers, usually an adjustable set, like that. Now, the bottles that we supply are brand new. They're high-quality replacement parts, if not the same as OEM Holden products. Um, it do does come with a free cap. Uh, it's free, free postage. I believe it's sitting around $53.30 on the website at the moment. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, guys, let's get started. Now, make sure your motor isn't too hot. Running it for a minute's okay, but if any more than uh, three or four minutes, the, the, this will have excess pressure in it. Don't go opening this cap without doing that. Take your cap off. This little breather hose here, just tuck it out of the way for now. Top pipe here. Be gentle with all this. You don't want to put any splits or any cuts, brazes in these pipes as they are a fitted pipe. Tuck that out of the way. Now you can see just here, right here, this is actually where the, where the, um, the original products fail. Um, basically what happens is, is enough heat cycles goes through the bottles and eventually causes them to either snap or break, especially when you're operating in this engine bay here. A lot of people will be playing around with maybe doing a spark plug change or a coil pack change and they'll actually just knock this item and it will get a small split in it and um, look from personal experience we're replacing three or four of these motors a month usually the problem lies within this engine overflow bottle so I would definitely hire, highly recommend keeping a high quality uh, low wear and tear unit in your car at all times Okay guys, we're going to start here with this clip. Now, I would I would recommend actually using a flathead screwdriver. But it's not this this type of job isn't rocket science, guys. So I'm just going to use these pliers and can actually just pull up on this clip. See how I've just pulled up on that clip? It's literally the only thing that actually holds the overflow bottle there. So now, you don't want to lose that. The bottle certainly doesn't come with that. Now, this will be full of water, guys. So it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to do anything about it. I'm actually on a um, bit of dirt here, so I'm not actually worried about the coolant, but I recommend trying to catch it underneath the car. I'm going to um, pull this bottom hose clamp off prior to lifting the bottle. I've moved that hose clamp out of the way, which applies there. Be careful not to touch the negative. Okay, so once you have that clip off and you've undone the hose clamp on this side of the bottle, what you actually need to do, from memory, is just lift this battery compartment out of the way. And I'm pretty sure you actually slide it this way. Just like that, guys. Now, you kind of have to come out like this. You kind of have to come out like that. So pull it this way and slide it up in that direction. Quite a, it was actually quite a tough thing to get off. Now this bottom pipe, try and tip the bottle up as you get it so you can kind of save all that coolant there. That's your bottle out. Okay guys, we're back here with a new unit. Now, you can obviously see a big difference here. Um, it's just, it is just basic wear and tear. It's not to be stressed about. To see that sort of bottle, where is that bottle? You can see the difference there. This is why over time they gradually start to crack and pop. And you can see no real difference there guys. These are just complete OEM replicas. 
Now what I want you to do is start by actually inserting this bottle. See this clip here? There's a clip down there. There's that clip there, or the little bracket there. This piece here, see that T piece? You can see where that goes. And you can also see that, you can see that, you see that little, that little L bracket there? You can see that that also slides in at the same time. What we're going to do, I'll see if I can do it with one hand, I doubt I will be able to. You certainly cannot do that with one hand guys, you have to use two hands. Try and tackle with two hands, but really all I did was kind of just then go in with an angle, kind of get that bottom piece in, and then slide it forward and cheese in. What I want to do is start with this so you know it's fitting before you waste any more time. Put that, put that little clip in, push it down with your fingers, and it's solid. This bottom pipe, slide that on, lovely. Your breather hose straight back in. There we go, guys. And that last top coolant hose. Put the, get this hose clamp back a bit. Put her on. Hose clamp forward, nice and tight. This bottom one. For your sake, do it from bottom to the top, but. Done it plenty of times, you don't want to be breaking it. And guys, fill it up with water. Check out the specs online as to how much they take. Other than that, this job's all done. Thanks for watching another parts factory tutorial installation video, guys. If you want to check out these parts or any other tutorial videos for any other cars, uh, just travel over to www.partsfactoryoz.com. My name's Lucas Strach, and if you have any other tutorial videos you wish to have me upload, or even a product idea, you can feel free to message me directly. I'm always on live chat on the site and would much appreciate your feedback or any concerns. Catch you next time.